for launching. It's now the flood. There is one cracker there in front. Actually, exactly where I'm supposed to go. So, yeah, uh, soul turns again. Today I have plenty of hardback. I have some squid and I have a little bit of worms from my last trip to Shippy Island. So I kept them fresh and I decided to come to finish the bait and also I have a, a task um, to, uh, to collect something on my way back. That's really the reason why I came today, otherwise I wouldn't go out. But because it's um, close to where it's about 40 minutes from here, so I decided to catch two birds in one shot. All right. So I'm not going to go uh, too much outside, only one kilometer. I've marked it from last time that I've been here. I'm going to a different place, just a bit opposite to where I launched from and only one kilometer out. Um, it's exactly where it drops a little bit. Not too much, everything here is quite shallow, but it will drop a couple of, uh, couple of feet or maybe a couple of meters. Uh, I'll anchor there and I'll start fishing. So, thank you for watching. Tight lines, hope to show you. Double uh, figure, hound. So, see you later. No idea. Hey, wait. Hey, Derek. How is it going? How is it? What's that? Did you catch anything? Few smooth down? Big, small? Uh, one about six, one about eight or so. What are you fishing? Your crabs? Yeah. Alright, how long are you here? Uh, probably to about 10, 11. Good day. What, what do you mean, from last night? No, this morning, 5 o'clock. Ah, alright. What's your name? Jim. David. David. Nice to meet you. Okay, so I venture up. Let's choose a crab. Yeah, they're all kicking. That's nice. I like the fact that they're kicking and even mating, not just kicking. Yeah, small little crab. One socket, second socket. Yep. Four ounce lead, gripper lead. Only twelve foot of uh, water. It's still low. Um, Let's open the drag a bit and let's see how it goes. So this is first rod with hardback. Um, Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Now, uh, I have also rugs, little bit rugs and logs. So, I have here a searching rig. It's a Wessex rig, one up, one down. Um, I hope the doggies will not uh, smash it, but uh, if they will, they will be part of the game 
and uh, but maybe I'll put a rug on the bottom and on the top hook I'll put a lugworm. Let's try it. Let's win. I'll tip it with another one because it's small. Something like that. Don't need the tail. And um, actually, the top one, I made a mistake, I wanted the opposite, but doesn't matter. I think I lost the rug. Yeah. Uh, I have only one rug here. Anyway, I didn't have enough, I didn't have a lot. Lovely rug, still kicking, although. It's from uh, the beginning of the week. If I know I'm going out, I'm going to keep them in salt water and change the water every day and that's it. Just cover them up and that's it. Second one. And again, the waiting game. First bite on the left rod. Let's see if it develops. Let's see if it develops. The first scrub I put I uh, really thin after 15 20 minutes there was no crab on it there is a little bit of uh, weed but it's not too bad yeah but uh, nothing so far nothing I would like to hear the ratchet It's a smooth hound. <laughs> Look at the smooth hound. Small one, baby one. Baby hound, baby hound. Uh, it's a fish, but actually it took the lugworm. Maybe smooth hound. Back he goes. It's a bit cold because of the wind. I really hope it's gonna stop blowing. Let's drink some tea. It's apple cinnamon. Ah. Just to inform you, I'm again on a keto diet. I gained some weight and uh, decided to go back on keto just for a while to see how it goes. Although it's difficult because I'm doing cycling, so. But I'm already a week. Um, it's gonna be tomorrow a week. Um, I didn't really lose anything, although I was hungry. Uh, not too bad, but you know, sometimes it's uh, difficult uh, because you feel that you need some some carbs. Um, I take it then because when I cycle, I take them a little bit, but not as much as I used to. For instance, the tea with uh, something called erythrothil, which is um, a sugar that uh, comes from uh, berries and that's uh, keto friendly. I have the manager carb up carb manager app which I check the food that I eat if it's uh, friendly if it's you should avoid or whatever um, I brought with me only two three snacks which are like um, um, yeah it's like some sort of chocolate snacks I'll show you um, 
and um, yeah, just just I, I want I want to lose like two three kilo at least, maybe a little bit more. But let's start with that, just to feel a bit lighter. So you have that keto bar, and you have that keto bar, and you have you have squid, but. Although it's keto, I wanted it. You know what? Let's one. Let's take one with the coffee, with the tea. Sorry. Usually I drink coffee. I don't drink tea. Only on the kayak I drink tea. A because it keeps itself warmer. It doesn't have the, you know, the debris of the coffee. Uh, B um, it doesn't ruin your uh, flask because with the tea, with the coffee. There's always a, like smell and color that left and stuff like that. All right, so that was 60 seconds on keto diet and nutrition. Um, Not bad. It's actually nice. Of course, at this squid, why won't a dogfish gonna come? Dogfish. So let me tell you what happened. I had a take on the road with the crab. It was a fish. Took it uh, strongly. And I couldn't reel in, and I, I don't know, I tried to reel in, it doesn't go really, it goes very uh, sluggishy, and uh, eventually I lost the fish, the crab wasn't there anymore, I lost the fish. The line, the braid, tangled around the, um, uh, the level wind um, a screw, just one loop, and that would... Uh, snug the line and I couldn't reel it in so I just uh, baited with a, a fresh uh, crab and uh, yeah too many I lose too many too many I think I'm worthy of a 20 pound one just a big one just one big one that's it There was a bite here. Yeah, there is a bite, there is a bite, there is a bite, there is a bite, there is a bite. Yeah, there is a fish. Whoa! Smoothie, smoothie katan. Smoothie logador. Always, always when I get a fish, always something happened with the camera. Always. Very nice fish. 
Okay. He's down. I have a bite of hound. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ay. Ah. Ooh, that's a big one. Don't go to the other side, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is it? No. No. <laughs> That's a big one, man. I just stopped not to get a double hookup. That's a big one. Yeah. Just don't go to the other side, please. Stay here. It's a big hound. It's a big fish. It's my biggest moon down, I think. <laughs> I couldn't see it well. It was wrapped. Ay, shit, I lost it. Ay, it wrapped itself. The hook broke. Ah, the hook broke. My God. Ay, ay, ay. Shit. It was a big fish. I couldn't see how big it was, but it was my, it was my biggest one. The hook broke. Yeah. It was a big fish. Ah. Uh. <sighs> okay. These
going into another fish. Now the hook won't break. But it's not as big as the other one. Not even close. Oh, it's a ray. The ray took the crab. I don't know what ray is it. It's a ton buck. Yeah, it's a ton buck. It's a big. It's a. It's a different marking. Yeah, it's a ton buck. Male Thornbuck. Off he goes. Another tick. I just put out the rod in the water and I got this tick. Nice one. It's a big one. It's a nice one. Okay.
So I was putting the drone up and uh, took the phone from the from the case and uh, brought the drone back and put the phone on my uh, hips. And then when I tried to get it, I didn't find it, and I moved, and it fell from the side on the gunnel and into the water. So, uh, the phone gone, I have no contact with the person that I need to uh, go through and pass by, because uh, that's the reason that I came, basically. Um, to fish a few hours and then to pass by that person and to collect few things that I got. Ah, it's so, so, so... It can ruin everything. I had a great day, but it can ruin everything. <sighs> Whatever I have backup, I have backup. I didn't even see it falling into the water, but I felt it's... Uh, uh, sliding my hip and I heard the noise on the gunnel and then I, had, I saw a little splash in the water and obviously it's not here so it's gone uh, I have no contact with my home to tell my wife um, at least I have GPS in my in my uh, car to go back home but I don't have the address of the person that I need to go by put on my phone Yeah. Hi. <sighs> so I called it a day earlier than I than I planned. Um, since I lost the phone, um, first of all, I didn't have any 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 point to continue to fish. It anyway went quiet. It's like water now. Um, it's going to be high water in about an hour and a half. So, yeah, I'll call it today. I had a good day fishing, but uh, that phone uh, put me into a, into a shock. And uh, now I need, I don't know exactly what to do. I need to find someone probably with the phone to give a call to my wife. Maybe I can retrieve from her the address of the uh, house I need to go to but uh, we'll see all right so anyway thank you for watching and uh, tight lines and uh, subscribe like share and I'll see you next time Castanet